Hello everybody, I am Brother Zena David Welcome. This is part three of this message, the revelations that the Lord gave to me. A warning that I am sounding today. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 1 says that heaven is my throne, the earth is my footstool. The whole world is the footstool of God. Don't see yourself as too important that if you disobey God, God will not destroy you. If he did not spare Satan, if he didn't spare the first world that existed in the time of Noah, he is not going to spare this world. Before I share the revelation, I, uh, the second revelation, I want to read Isaiah chapter 40 verse 22. It is he that seated upon upon the circle of the earth and the inhabitants thereof as, uh, as grasshoppers that stretched out the heavens as a curtain and spreaded them out as it tends to dwell in. The world is as minute as a pot of soup and the gems in it, as the Lord revealed to me. That is how small the world is. As Sammy says, what is man that thou art mindful of him? What is actually man that God is mindful of him? We are like grasshoppers in the sight of God. According to the Isaiah chapter 40 verse 22, we are minute in the sight of God. But man is too proud. Man, pride is a problem to humanity. We think we are so important that even in our disobedience, we, but God will allow us into heaven. There is nothing that defileth that enters into heaven. That is what the Bible says. All liars, all murderers, all sorcerers will have their place in the lake of fire. Now, the second revelation I want to share with us today that relates to what I'm saying now is I, I did a video some time ago. The Lord told me that if I destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, if I destroyed the world that existed in the time of Noah, I will also destroy this world. The world is becoming worse. The world is worse than what it used to be in the time of Noah. The world is worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Right now, it is a hundred times worse. And you think that the Lord will leave this world and not destroy it? This world that people, uh, ritualists, people who are looking for power, can put a little baby in a mortar and pound the baby. Even as a baby is screaming, they will pound the baby to death and sacrifice millions and thousands of babies through abortion and through ritual killing, satanic rituals, you think that the world will escape the judgment of the Lord? It is a lie. We will not escape. If you want to escape God's judgment, if you think you are important, then you obey the laws of God. For those of you who are deceiving people, for those of you who think that because you collect power from Satan and you can uh, see visions and prophesy to people and deceive people because of the evil powers you have and you tell them that God does not concern himself uh, about how they live their life, that Jesus Christ has destroyed sin, you will pay in hell. There is a message that the Lord gave to me about false prophets and pastors, which is, uh, I post the transcription on my website, iguayopuna.com. The video is on iguayopuna. I will leave the link in the description box of this video. You, you will hear horrible things that men of God are doing and deceiving people. Please do not be deceived. The Lord is going to judge this world. I have made up my mind 
that this world is my hell. This is my hell. It doesn't matter what I face. It doesn't matter what I pass through. Whether I have money or not, I am still going to preach the truth. Even in the face of the gun, even in the face of poverty, even in the face of persecution, I am going to stand for the truth and preach the truth. In fact, I have made up my mind that it is better to die and go to heaven than compromise the truth. That is my own position right now because I know the destruction of this world is imminent and the Lord is definitely going to destroy the world. Please repent. Don't let any human being deceive you because the world is heading for destruction right now. The world is as this the people in the world and the whole world, we are the footstool of God, and you have to understand it like that. That he doesn't remove anything from God if God destroys the whole world. He doesn't add anything to God. We don't add to the life of God and we can't remove from the life of God. God has been in existence all by himself and with us, minus us, we account to nothing to God. So don't let pride deceive you. Don't let pride deceive you. As a matter of fact, this is an urgent message. If you come across this video, please share it. If you've not watched the part one and the part two, please go and watch them. Are you saved? If you are not saved, please repent and give your life to Jesus Christ. It's a matter of urgency. Jesus Christ will appear any moment from now. Once the church is taken, it's going to be very, very terrible. If you can't serve God well now, if you can't be submissive to obey God and walk with Him in holiness and righteousness and in obedience right now, do you think you are going to make it after the rapture? It's going to be too terrible. And even anybody can die. I once told my mom one day that, uh, uh, let me just go and pick up something. I will come back. I never returned home. I found myself in the hospital. I lost my leg. Death is not very f far from us. It is as close as life. Just the way we wake up to meet life every day. That is the way death is close to us. Don't wait before death knocks at your door before you give your life to Jesus Christ. Please repent. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Iguai Opuna and BS Purity TV. And also visit my website. Subscribe to my website so that whenever I post anything, you can get it. Iguai Opuna. Please stay away from sin. Repent every day. Thank you. God bless you. Subscribe. Bye bye.